Where should I go to conduct the interview? The next step in the survey is to identify locations for the 19 interviews in your supervision area. We can make this decision using a few steps. You'll find two useful tables in your participants manual. In the first table, list all the different communities in your supervision area and list their populations. If there is no population data available, you can use the number of houses or the number of births in each community, or just estimate the relative size of the different communities. It is actually the relative population size which is important. As we have population data available, we'll use that here. In the third column, calculate the cumulative population. You do this by adding the population of each community to the sum total of all the other communities before it, so you get a running total of the population. Next, divide the total population of the supervision area by 19, or the sample size. This gives you your sampling interval. This is the number of people you skip after you select one of the random locations before selecting the next location. Now choose a random number between one and the whole number part of the sampling interval using a random number table. The sampling interval has four digits, so we'll use the first four digits in the random number table. So if the interval is 1,236, you choose a random number between 1 and 1,236. Then in the second table, enter that number as your starting point. This is the location of your first interview. Then add your sampling interval, including the decimal, to the random starting point. This will give you the next location, and again, and so on. We need to find which locations each of these numbers falls into. For example, 622 is greater than 548, but does not exceed 1,278. So, the 622nd person is located in Santai. This will give you 19 interview locations at regular intervals. It will tell us which communities to visit and how many interviews to conduct in each one. Larger communities may give us more than one interview location. Once this is done, you can make a travel plan for visiting the different communities. You can visit the different locations in any order. Frequently, after the sample, you find that you have 19 different villages to visit. So it's wise to select villages which are close together and visit at least two villages per day to carry out the interviews. Select a team of two interviewers for each supervision area. Each one can go to half the villages. Select one supervisor who can manage the data collection in the supervision area. All the data should be collected in about five days.